one second. Hey Vice, welcome back to the food segment. It's Russell. We went back to 7-Eleven and we got the steak and cheese taquito. This does not look appetizing. That is not true. Also not true. This is much better than a chicken taquito. I'd give this a seven and a half out of ten. Oh, hello there. After the smashing success of West Side Story, we are now endeavoring on a smaller, more intimate production. The sixth period theater class is putting on a series of eclectic, inspiring 10 minute plays filled with drama, comedy, introspection, rats, psychotic breaks, violent acts of retribution, holy nation, Russia, the fourth wall. Who the hell are you? Those are some really great points. Come see the 10 minute plays on hey. April 20th. None of these alterations were on my script. Who approved this? And who the hell are you? We, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. So come see the 10 minute plays at La Jolla High School on April 22nd at 7 p.m. Be there. Don't forget. This is against my directorial intent. This is post. Am I recording right now? Oh, cool. Um... Welcome to the bulletin, guys. And now for some ASB announcements. If you have a computer or a charger that you need to return, please do so to the library. And the same goes with semester one textbooks. All right, April 23rd is Enhanced La Jolla Day and Interact Club. We'll be helping to beautify our great new local museums. Please come and help us. It will be a lot of fun and you'll be helping our community out. Yeah. And now for some weirdos that actually got interviewed. Good morning, Vikings. I'm here early in the morning. The sun is just starting to come up. I'm here on a Thursday with the girls lacrosse team. Awesome team. Uh, they are a winning team and they have lots to say. So go in and talk to a few of the girls. We're gonna to talk to the coach, find out what makes this team tick. What coach am I here with? Uh, I'm Coach Tim. I'm new with the team this year. Oh, okay, good deal. And have you coached teams before? I have, coached at Poway, coached at Cathedral Catholic. Uh, I, play, <laughs> I played at University of Maryland. Oh, okay, uh, so yeah, you are, okay, good deal. Good to have you here. Uh, how do you like the girls here at La Jolla? Love it. This is the first girls team I've coached, so it's a, it's definitely a big change, but it's uh, it's been a great change. It's been a, it's been great. It's a great. Okay. It's a great and these girls are doing good this year. Yeah, doing great. Uh, we're having a little. We had a great win last night against Scripps. Uh, obviously, a big big win against a rival. So uh, yeah, we're excited to keep it going. Okay, good deal. Um, what do we got as far as uh, players that are pulling up to the plate and uh, making the scores? Uh, we had, we had uh, Delaney scored a couple last night. We had, uh, we had Lucas scored a few. Um, we had Stella Artukovic score. We had a bunch of people score. I mean, we uh, we have a lot. We spread our scoring out, which is great. Good, good. So you don't have a real strong one person. You have a whole bunch of kids. Exactly. Yeah. We, exactly. It makes it a lot easier for other people to score. So. What about up and coming? Do we have any freshmen on the team? Really young girls that are that are really performing and doing good yeah so Iko's are only freshmen and um she's doing better she's getting a lot of experience being around some of the older girls and learning a lot from them so uh she's doing a good job for us and um playing a lot more in practice and games right now but is uh is doing better oh okay just being a freshman on a varsity team is big yeah exactly yeah being around being around other players that are uh that are at a high level and older and you can learn a lot from them she's doing a great job Okay, good deal. Okay, thank you, Coach, for being here. Thanks for sponsoring our team here. We just love it here. And what is your name? My name is Stella Artukovic. Last name again? Artukovic. My goodness, that's a mouthful there. Okay, how long have you been on the team? Um, since my sophomore year, and I'm a junior right now, so only two years. Oh, wow, okay, okay. And what position do you play? I'm attack. What does that mean? I'm. It's like, you know, in soccer, it's like forward, like you like score. Oh, you're you're one of the ones. So it's like a, a forward guard and in, in um, or forward in um, 
uh, basketball then. Okay, yeah. I don't really know basketball. <laughs> yeah, okay, good deal. Uh, how are the girls doing? How are they feeling about the sport this year? We're doing good. This should be, this is like our season. We had a tough loss the other night, but we just beat a really good team that hasn't lost since 2019, so that was exciting. You know, guys, I don't know if you know about this. You guys always hear about the boys, you know, boys lacrosse. Uh, but do you know the girls are batter ass, if you can say that? Uh, and the main reason is they don't wear the padding the boys do. Yeah. And they're taking the same hits. Am I right? Yeah, I have bruises all on my arms all the time. And I don't know what that, why that is. It, maybe the girls are tougher, but uh, yeah, this is a tough, tough sport. And these are tough girls out yeah. here early in the morning they, they start at six and practice and they're working out hard yeah it's fun though so nice talking to you yeah, today thank you. okay uh who am i here with this morning hi i'm charlotte gainer a gainer all right i've had a lot of the gainers in my uh classes over the years love the gainer family and who else haley Dahmers. Uh, i don't that name doesn't ring a bell uh, what position do you play haley i play defense Defense and you? Def defense as well. Defense as well. Okay. Uh, so you're in the back part of the game, you know, in the toward more toward the middle? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We're um, defending the goal. Defending the goal. Okay. So, yeah. So you're the first ones to be back on, on your side of the goal. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, how do you like the sport so far? I love it. I like being aggressive and just playing a team sport. It's fun. And what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Oh, yeah. last year. Are you planning to play this in college? Yeah, I'm playing at UC Davis. Davis. Yeah, you know, I had a couple girls yesterday told me they were going to Davis. Davis is a good school. Nice area. You won't get mugged walking around the, you know, the area. So where are you going to, are you a senior or what? I am a senior as well. And you're going to go to where? I'll be attending UCLA in the fall. And are you going to play lacrosse there? Nope. Okay. No, um, they they have a club team, so I might join the club team, but I was not recruited. Not recruited. Okay. Yeah. Well, club teams they don't have any money going into that at all. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much, girls, for being willing to talk to me. Appreciate it. Hey, Vikes. It's Diego. I'm here interviewing Cole Duffy about baseball. So, tell us a little bit about how your season's been so far this year. Um, pretty tough. I mean, we've faced a lot of good teams early on because we were, you know, we were raw last year, but. We're, we're getting back to it, and we're 9-9 nine nine right now. Hopefully, we're going to be pretty good in the league, and uh, hopefully, we're going to fall out. All right. Any upcoming games we should look out for? Uh, yeah, we got today, Friday. Um, we got a home game, and then next week, we have Wednesday home game. And those are our next two home games. All right. That's it from us. See you. Hi, my name is Ben Jimenez, I'm a senior, and I'm one of the captains for the varsity swim team, and I'm going to be talking about our swim team this year. This year has been going really well. Yesterday we had a meet against Bishops, and both of our girls and boys team beat them. It was a really great meet, and today, which is Wednesday, we're facing off against Cathedral Catholic High School, and we're super pumped, and we hope to beat them too. Next Thursday is our senior night, and this is our last kind of preseason or mid-season meet and we're really excited for that and then we start going to city conference and then CIF which is the following week so our season's almost over but we're really pumped and we hope you guys can come and support our team we have two sophomores who are doing exceptionally well uh, Marco Warma and Ariel Brotman and they're really close to beating our records Ariel beat some records last year so she's already ahead of the game and they're only sophomores so we're really excited for them and hoping they can beat some records this year and if not they have two more years to do it so we're really proud of them and then Kiever Black and Finn Bugelli are juniors who are kind of creeping towards our records and they have another year to do it so we're super excited for them um, David Jimenez was kind of struggling at the beginning of the season and he's really improved and the whole team is pretty proud of him that he's kind of been able to get his act together this season um, and then Reed Krebs just did amazing at a meet and he went sub five and is 500 free which he's done before but we're super excited that he did it again and this season's going really well so come support at our senior night next Thursday and now for some more information on the Green Dragon Art Show Hey everyone, we're the AP Art students at La Jolla High School and we're hosting an art show on May 19th. It's a Thursday. Um, it's the Green Dragon Art Show and the theme is finding your identity after COVID. 
And so there will be a lot of multimedia, ceramics, um, graphic design, and I think the theater students are coming to perform. So come on, join us.